The boys arrive at Lawn Farm Fishery. The excitement is building. But it appears there is a problem. The lake they wanted to fish on today has been booked for a match which means they cannot fish there. Disheartened but not deterred they travel a few miles up the road to Ewart Lake instead. Oh dear! Dave's rod gets caught in the ground. <laughs> Snap rod. <laughs> Couldn't take it any better. Rob thinks it's funny, but Dave is not impressed. Digging, digging for worms. After a disastrous start to the day, Dave spots a spot he likes the look of. So they head down to have a look. Everything is set up, and they are now ready to fish. Let's hope the day can get better from here. Let's introduce the boys. This is Dave, who is also known as a planker. And this is Rob. And yes, you have guessed it, he is also a plonker. Goes into a fish early, what you got Dave? Does it feel good? Hopefully a carp. And in the net. Nice one, Dave. Good start, mate. So what are we, about 20 minutes in? You've already got one. Well done. Perfect start. Well done, Dave. A few minutes later, and Dave is in again. This time, it's a small bream. As he puts it back, the alarm on his other rod is going off.
He's in a game. What a cracking start. Well, surprise, surprise, Dave is in a game. And this time it's a barbell. Let's see how Rob is getting on. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. But wait, what's this? The cameraman fell asleep and Rob finally has a fish. Over the next couple of hours, Dave catches bream after bream after bream. As they enter the last hour of the session, Rob's alarm goes off. It's another small cop. As they enter the last 10 minutes, Rob is into another fish.
which is Dave. Rob puts it back, and it's time to head home. I think it's fair to say, Dave won the day.